Hey everyone, today we're checking out this insane new tool called Unicorn Studio. It allows you to create these WebGL based or JavaScript based animations, interactive animations on both 2D and 3D planes. And not only is this web based just like Figma is or Framer, but it allows you to literally embed and extract all these designs, insane effects, interactions to all of your favorite design tools, be it Framer, Webflow, Figma, whatever. Today I'm going to show you every, all the cool things that you can achieve in this tool and what all features does it come with. I'm also excited to share that it's free up to a certain point. Now to begin with, once you log in, you are treated with this nice little dashboard right here where you will find some really cool resources, including a community tab. So you'll find a lot of pre-made resources. If you're new, if you wanna just explore the tool to begin with, this is perfect. For example, I really like this OpenAI project, which is essentially an image built using OpenAI and then brought into Unicorn to animate just like this. This is so, so cool. And of course, all of this can be made interactive. So if the mouse is moving in a certain direction, it interact in a certain way. This is really cool. It kind of reminds me of Spline a little bit. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, we can start up with a new project, which I'm gonna do right now. And it brings you onto this nice little design tool. This is very familiar. If you know how to use Figma or Framer or any of these design tools, this will be super easy to use. Here, as you can see, you have some elements on top, which you can quickly use. One is your 3D panel you have a lot of 3d shapes that you can import let me just quickly import one of these right now just click on it and it will bring it into our artboard there are unlimited properties for all different kinds of elements and shapes you bring in here things like smoothening extrude so you can make it thicker or thinner like this and you can animate between this as well you can scale it you can even bring in an svg to attach to this of course uploading is super easy you can literally change the shape from here as you can see if you're not happy with the shape just change it real quick you can show or remove background you can add refraction to it so you can essentially turn this into glass as well all those glass animations that you've seen this is this will make that possible as well. A lot of cool little things that you can do, just like you can do in Spline. So it's it feels like a full 3D tool inside the browser, much like in Spline. But of course, it takes it to the next level with its animations. Now, what if I want to animate this nice little shape here? I can select the shape, go to events on the top right. I can make it animate in a certain way. So I can change any property from right here, refraction, dispersion, light positioning, or I can make it track the mouse. And at the end, I can just play it from right here, click on the play button. And as you can see, it'll take about a second to animate this. Isn't this cool? Of course, you can change the color and stuff like that. But the fact that this is possible is insane. You can even add scroll interactions, which is really useful for websites and apps. Now, what if you don't want to complicate this and add 3D shapes, etc.? You can always add a lot of pre-built elements and of course save a lot of time. So if I want a light trail, I can click on this and it will give me a nice little light trail in my scene. I can export this as it is cha or change the light trail around. I can change the tint to like a red tint. And as you can see, it changes. I can change it to white and it becomes whiter. Now, what if I want to animate an image and add all these as overlay or the image is manipulated as we are hovering or scrolling? It's super easy to do that. You can either upload an image or a video with it. I'll upload this little bot right here. I'll select it and then put it in the frame like this. I will then make sure that it's of course, large enough, it, it essentially just covers the entire screen like so. Pretty cool. And then on the left, just like Figma layers, I can bring in and adjust all the effects over this. So as you can see, any effect I've added here, it will become as an overlay to that image. I can then experiment even more with this, for example, a mouse ripple. So as you can see, there's now a ripple as well as this nice little glow effect. I can quickly hide the glow effect just to see the ripple. And you can then, of course, increase the strength of the radius of the ripple, etc. I mean, the possibilities here are endless. You can do the same thing with text. So if I add text, the text will also be manipulated based on whatever effects I add to it. So if I want to add the shatter effect, as you can see, it's added the shatter effect to my 
text right here. I can, of course, add mouse tracking, 3D lift, etc. to it to add that kind of tracking effect as well. And then, of course, I'll just change colors and whatnot. But see how it's added effects onto my text and the text now carries that effect with it. As you can see, nice little glass shatter effect in a way that I've created. You can li literally just replicate it in your designs. Now, apart from all these amazing effects that they've created for you and you can then create your own over this, I personally love the 3D glass as well. It looks amazing. You can then go ahead and export this. If you move your attention here, you can, of course, export this as an image just like it is, just like a screenshot of sorts, as JPEG, WebP. You can increase or decrease the size, and of course, you can, scale, you can change the scale of it, which is really cool. I can then go to video and then export this as a video as well. So if you want to export it for LinkedIn, wherever, export it as an MP4 or any other video format. WebM is great for web, for example. And then, of course, you can choose how big the files should be, the frame rate, etc. Amazing, and all of this is free. And then you can embed this as code into your existing websites or into Framer, Webflow, Wix, Figma sites, wherever you like. They have guides for each one of them, so it'll be easy for you to do that. And you can even change things like frame rate, etc. But what really made me excited was this optimize feature. If I go into optimize, it'll show you the design as a final design, of course but it will allow you to change these properties in real time and see how it will affect not only the performance, as you can see on the right, but also things like complexity score or how, how long it will take to render. So if I decrease the scene size to 0.25, as you can see, it takes much less time to render and it's much smoother and faster in general as well. Of course, it might fiddle with the actual designs, but for for the sake of speed, you can do that. You can even change things like scroll mode. You can change how high resolution this should be. That's crazy. Once you're done with it, you can even change individual resolutions or complexities for each effect. Text, shatter, logo, gradient. You can change for each one of these properties. That, this is a first of a kind feature. I've never seen this before personally. Now then you can save it and export it as code as you would do originally and it would ex export with all these properties in mind. How good is that for companies, studios, or for actual websites that want to do this? Boy, I'm loving this too. Even as I'm using it for you guys, I'm falling in love with it a little more. Quick suggestion, always turn the HD mode off, especially when you're just editing. Once you want to export this, you can turn it on, but HD basically slows down most computers unless you have like a crazy graphics card, this will slow everything down. And last but not the least, you can see it in all its glory on all different platforms, mobile, web, and tablet. All right, guys, that is it for Unicorn Studio. Let me know in the comments, how did you feel about this tool? Are you gonna start using this in your own designs? Mix for some really cool backdrops and a lot of cool effects that you can add. I am super, super excited to try and use this. Of course, there is a lot of potential that I've not discovered yet. A few features that I've not been able to show to you guys. But if you do find anything unique about it, let me know in the comments. Let the community know in the comments as well. I'll see you next week with another amazing design video. Until next time, take care. God bless.